Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Backchat TV. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Um, we're going to get straight into this story about Dana White and his, um, uh, the incident that he was involved in with his wife. Um, they've been together for a long time um, and I think they were out in Mexico on holiday um, in, a, in, a, in a club or something and um, there was an altercation a lot of people are unsure about what it was over because I've seen um, TMZ and certain reporters speaking to um, Dana White about, they've asked him what actually happened and he seems to kind of ignore that, that question and just kind of says, well, we had a bit to drink and what happened happened. So a lot of people are still unclear about what he was arguing with, what actually took place. They just, uh, from, the, from the video, what you can see is they have an argument in a bar in Mexico. Uh, his wife looks visibly distressed about something. To me, Dana, uh, uh, Dana White seems to be trying to either console her about the issue or trying to talk to her. It doesn't seem like he's being aggressive by the way he kind of holds her arm and tries to get her attention. He seems like he's trying to talk something over with her. Uh, she doesn't want to listen. She seems quite emotional. She doesn't want to listen. She kind of turns away. She kind of is a bit dismissive. And um, uh, Dana White seems a little bit upset that she's kind of dismissing him and looking the other way. And then she tries to kind of walk away from him. And he seems to try to hold her, like, to get her attention, to try to either get her to calm down or to listen to him. And then she suddenly uh, she suddenly strikes him in the face. Um I mean, it wasn't like um, he was kind of trying to stop her from leaving in, in an aggressive way. It was more as if he was trying to get her attention so he could calm her down. He also kind of looked like he didn't want to make a scene because there's other people around. Um, and she gets upset. She slaps him in the face. He reacts by slapping her back. And then there's an altercation. And uh, he, I think... Uh, it seems like he attempts to slap her again, but then the altercation gets, um, that, well, somebody intervenes, basically. And that's that's as far as the video shows. Um, obviously, there's been widespread condemnation of his actions, uh, but you would expect that some of them are just people jumping on the bandwagon, other people just being overly judgmental. Um but yeah, uh, it's a it's a difficult one, you know. Was he right to physically assault his wife? Was he just um, was it self defence? Was he justified? You know, considering that he wasn't the first one to um, to throw the punch or or the slap, as it were. You know, and these are the questions that we're going to look at in this uh, in this video. Um, it's a difficult situation because. I think Dana White is a is kind of a polarizing character. You either love him or you hate him. You know, he has some strong views. Uh he seems to be someone who's quite judgmental. I mean, he's when other fighters and people in the media have had a different opinion, he seems to take that quite personal. And a lot of fighters and uh, people that know him have said he's quite emotional in that way. He takes things quite personal, you're either kind of with him or against him. He seems to kind of have this nature. There's been a lot of ex-UFC fighters and current UFC fighters that have had a problem with him. Kobe Covington, uh, Masvidal, uh, Tyron Woodley, and then obviously even earlier on in his uh, career, he had a lot of problems with um, Tito. And uh, a few people, a few fighters, John Jones, um, obviously I know John Jones deserves most of it, but um, Aljamain Sterling, just to make, name a few. There's there's a lot of fighters that have some kind of uh, gripe with Dana White. So it's not unusual that uh, 
He has this polarizing character. He also has had quite a few outbursts with um, reporters. The point I'm obviously getting at is there are a number of people who have some kind of issue with Dana White, um, whether it's justified or not. Um, when you're a public figure, you're going to have different people who have different you know, motives and different intentions, and some of them are not going to be your fault. You can't please everyone. And, and definitely, if you're um, a director of a company a CEO of a company, you're going to have people who are behind you, you're going to have people who dislike you for whatever reason. So it's not unusual that you have a number of people that unlike, uh, that uh, don't like you or have some kind of issue. I'm just trying to paint the picture that there are quite a few people who don't like Dana White inside the UFC community and outside. He's also had uh, runnings with um, Oscar De La Hoy, and just quite a few people, to be honest. So he has got quite a strong character. And then there's been some rumours that um, he hasn't always treated certain people nicely. A few females have said, so indicated some some, some things, um, a bit uh, negative things about his character. And then now we've seen um, this issue with his wife, and this has led to questions, does this happen... You know, when the cameras are not there, is this the way he normally acts? And although he has actually come out and said this is the first time that this uh, th this kind of abuse, as they would say, has happened, um, people are obviously talking. Does he always hit his wife when they have some kind of dispute? And we can't, I wouldn't make that kind of claim. There's no way that we could know this. And I mean, just because a few people don't like you, you know, so people not liking you is not you know, an indication that you're in the wrong. Um, but it, the case becomes a little bit stronger when your own mother has some disparaging words to say about you. This is um, what Dana White's own mother had to say about him. He had been dying, and he hadn't spoke to her in two years. And he called her up and told her, Graham, I'm going to send my plane to get you. I'm going to bring you back to Vegas to live with us. You're going to have the best medical care money can buy. And then she never heard from him again. So, and that was typical Dana. So I really didn't even think twice about it. But the final straw was when I saw one of her neighbors. And her neighbor asked me what I was doing there. And I said, my mom's sick. And, you know, I'm down here taking care of her. And she said, oh, we thought she was gone. I said, gone where? She said, well, she told us her grandson was coming to get her. She told everybody in the neighborhood that she wouldn't be here because he was coming to get her to take care of her now. So that just sort of pushed the final button for me. And, you know, I was hoping the book, a lot of the stuff might bring him back or make him think about who he's become and what he does to people and the way he behaves. But I don't think it's really had that um, effect on him. No. We had a, um, she was cremated in Florida, and then we had a funeral service for her up in Connecticut. And he never came. He didn't send flowers, card, nothing. Yeah, I don't want to take anything away from him for what he's done for MMA and the UFC. I mean, Dana has a high school education, and that's it. And I think it's pretty amazing the things he's been able to do with MMA and the UFC. But he's not... Um, a good person. He seems to have lost his character somewhere along the way. He mistreats people. Um, it's terrible the way he speaks of women and treat, treats women. That really bothers me because I don't believe I've ever brought him up to behave like that. If he didn't go to that school, if I didn't work all those hours, he would have never met the Fertitas. Uh, you know, it's that sort of chain reaction thing. There would be no UFC. Uh, I do believe Dana's used steroids. I saw, I hadn't seen any pictures of him for a while, and then I saw one and he had no neck. You know, he was just like, and his seams were busting on his jacket, and I'm like, oh my God, what is he doing? So yeah, it certainly looked like it. Dana White's mother um, definitely had some very scathing words and accusations um, about her son. I suppose she's the only person who has the right to say what she thinks of him, but she, she goes quite into depth about his character, how he's changed, 
Um, I suppose this change has kind of come along as he's become more well known and wealthy, uh, becoming a millionaire from the UFC. It's she's kind of insinuating that it's gone to his head, and um, definitely she she definitely seems quite bitter. Although she's speaking in quite a calm way, she seems quite bitter, and she seems like uh, you know she's blaming um, Dana White for a lot of things. Um, one accusation she makes that is she says he he um, made a false promise to his grandmother, her mother, that when she was sick, he would come and help her and bring a helicopter and take her to his house and look after her and stuff like that, and then he never turned up. Um, when she died and he knew that she was sick, that's why he promised her all these things, he um, never turned up to the funeral or sent any flowers and uh, there was no financial assistance or anything like that. And so I kind of feel that the mother's quite um, quite bitter. Rightly so or not, who knows. Um, f- from hearing her speak, I get the feeling also, and this is um, in support of Dana White, I feel like she was a bit unfair. I don't feel like she had to say all of these things that she said. And uh, some of the things you could see that she wants to get back at him. You know, she wrote a book um, detailing a lot of private things about him, which I think was unnecessary. Um, she also makes this completely unfounded statement about believing that he's taking steroids because of seeing his uh, body transformation which could easily be accomplished with just a, a good weight training program. You know, Dana White's got money. He's got enough money for supplements. He's got enough money for the best personal trainers. There's no reason why he can't get in that shape. You know, I wouldn't expect someone's mother to make such a ridiculously uh, outlandish claim. Like, oh yeah, I think my son's on steroids. You know what I mean? Without any evidence or anything. So I think there's some ulterior motive there. Maybe she feels left out by the fact that he got all this money and he has ignored her in her view. So I'll take this, what she said, uh, with a pinch of salt. But I just thought I would talk about it to give more of a balance for you. Because, you know, we've just talked about him having a lot of detractors, reporters, UFC fighters, ex-UFC fighters. Now family members, his own mother. And now this issue with his wife, you know, it does start to build a character that maybe there's a bit of a facade going on with his personality. Maybe underneath, he's not as nice as he comes across, or maybe he doesn't even come across as nice. He comes across as quite a hard, tough guy, uh, but maybe there's more to it. Um, Let me know what you think. Do you think it was fair for him to um, retaliate against his wife. And I use the word retaliate because he's not the one who threw the first blow. It was his wife who slapped him first. So, he, he, you know, he was just retaliating. Um, Is it fair for him to do that? Is it reasonable that he should react in that way? You know, um, I'm not quite ready to throw him under the bus and I'm not the the biggest Dana White fan, to be honest. I think he's quite um, harsh on on certain um, UFC fighters. I think he also gets a bit confused about his job and in relation to the fighters sometimes. He sometimes gives his own views on um, fights that were quite close, you know, and then said that um, the judges don't know what they're talking about and and that uh, a certain person definitely won and the person should be ashamed to, to claim that win. He says some, some very... Um, he has definitely been known to say some very judgmental things. Um, in my personal view, I don't feel like it's his position. I, th- I feel like the position he's in, he should try to be more impartial. Um, but, you know, he tends to just speak his mind. And sometimes a lot of people disagree with his views. And I think that's how he gets into these um, conflicting arguments with fighters and stuff like that. You know, but like I said, he is a polarising character. But do you think this is crossing the line? You know, uh, when John Jones had his issue, his domestic violence issue, um, Dana White didn't show him much mercy. Granted, maybe he doesn't deserve it. um, But what do you think about this situation here? Um, Do you think it's kind of fake that he's pretending to take ownership? Or do you think he really means it? He has said um, that he doesn't feel like he's 
going to be punished. Um, do you think? What do you think of that? I mean, um, is he trying to say he shouldn't be punished, or that he's above punishment, or maybe he's just genuinely sad about a, an unfortunate situation that's happened with his spouse and um, doesn't want to make any excuses. That's how it kind of um, came across at the end of when he was um, when he was talking about the situation. Let me know what you think. Do you think he's in the wrong? Do you think he's in the right? Are you a fan of Dana White? Do you like his character? Yeah. Let me know what you think about this situation. I'm on to the next one. Guess who's back? I said, guess who's back?